What up? Welcome back once again to the Necro Zoo. I am Bones. And in this one, let's go ahead and add one more figure to my McFarlane DC Multiverse Collection. Now today we will take a look at the Injustice 2 version of Superman. Now I did randomly find this at Target. So if you're looking for him, you can start checking your local targets. There were actually a couple of him, but I did not see the platinum version. So that was pretty sad. So I just went ahead and picked one up to take a look at him. Now we have received various figures from McFarlane from Injustice and Injustice 2. Now you all might have to help me out a little bit because I'm not too much of a gamer. Never really have been, so don't know too much of my gaming lore or anything like that. But I do know enough to know that Injustice is actually one of the bigger DC video games that has been released. Now this guy actually does look pretty tyrannical in the packaging, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. But first he does come with your standard black DC Multiverse stand. Now, of course, maybe he should have come with a flight stand. Once again, I do get it. If you've been collecting McFarlane, you should have a couple of flight stands laying around. This figure does seem to have completely new sculpt and design, but it is still an injustice that we don't get a flight stand with a Superman figure. But these are not really needed. Sometimes they do come in useful. He also comes with his data file card. On the front, you do have an image from, it looks sort of a comic book based on the game. Pretty nice artwork. It is the same that is on the back of the box. And on the back, you do have, once again, a rundown of Superman, Clark Kent, Kal-El. But pretty nice card. We will add it to the collection. Now he does come with some accessories, which is something that McFarlane has been doing a lot better on. He does come with alt hands, basically giving you a choice if you want to have them double fisted or double gesturing hands, which is always appreciated. But let's go ahead and take a more detailed look at him. Now, first impressions, I have to say I am really impressed with this figure now i'm not as i said before i'm not a big gamer so i don't know too much about <laughs> the games but i do know a nice figure when i see one and this one seems to have been executed perfectly i mean just the metallic colors that are popping off of the figure the proportions the way that all the pieces fit together the perfect lines that go around the figure a very nice head sculpt and once again just like a sort of radiant you know paint job coming off of this figure is really impressive really liking him i have seen images before of the injustice superman i think it's very different the injustice one compared to the injustice 2 in this one he has a little bit more of an armored look and i think he's like purely evil <laughs> in this iteration but I, you know, I could be wrong. I, like I said, I don't know too much. But this guy does give me sort of like a imperial or like, you know, sort of tyrant feels like, <laughs> like he rules with an iron hand. So pretty cool, pretty impressive. Loving the first impressions that I get from this figure. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. Wow, this is really nicely done. You get a, a little tiny bit of shading and color but it's like not too much i think this guy would do really well like with some accent lighting and taking figure photography with him would probably be your best bet with this figure just because like the light coming down on me i can already see like it brings out the shadow around his eyes and on his cheekbones this figure isn't really made to be like in you know bright lights he's more made to be like in the shadows which is really nice 
but very well done head sculpt nice hair uh, the hairline uh, is a little bit off to me like for some reason it's like one millimeter too high <laughs> like i don't know why i just feel like if they would have made it a little bit lower it would look a lot better he has like a high peak right here where his hairline splits you got a little peak i mean it's nothing big or noticeable but just to me to my eye because i have long hair and like i could really right away tell like a weird looking hairline it, it just looks off to me so i might take a look at you know touching that up a little bit we might do that towards the end of the video now i really love this sort of headdress that he wears it is beautiful the way it fits like around the jawline and up into around his temples is really well done just an awesome awesome head sculpt really loving it don't want to gush too much but it is really nice let's take a look at the articulation can look down very well can also look up a lot of nice range there as well you do have right to left and of course he could tilt his head for some attitude now one thing i will say is the eyes for some reason i feel like people don't like side eye but i think <laughs> if we had an alternate head with some side eye it would really give him some emotion and like some depth i mean i understand how people don't like the side eye when there's no other alternative but this really makes me want to buy another one of these just to put the side eye on him so i could show you guys what the photos would look like it would look a lot better with a lot more sort of a menacing attitude that i think the side eye gives so i may do that uh, i don't know i'm not sure but i just might do that <laughs> just to prove a point because right now he does have that sort of zombie glossed over eyes that are just looking into the void but it's fine you know that that's what we've always been conditioned to expect from figures so it's not a big deal but i do feel like some side eye would really help this guy to just emote a little bit more emotion with that being said let's continue love the chest emblem love the design looks awesome you got a nice gold with some almost bordered by some maroon color with the s ah, just beautiful and then highlighted with that metallic blue all around which is like smooth while you do see more texture and grain around the other parts of the suit which is something that mcfarland excels at now i know that this is one time when you know people say like oh I want a, a classic costume with no design, no, no, no scope work, nothing. I just want it like plain. And I mean, that's fine. I do. I, I do enjoy like your classic costumes, but this is something we should really appreciate and take for what it is. A beautiful piece of action figure art. Just awesome. Just the way it's executed, the silhouette that it cuts, you don't see any gaps in between the trunks. And underneath the like the upper chest, it just all flows together beautifully. Now let's take a look at the waist articulation. You do have side to side, really smooth. You do have that full tilt to whirl at the waist. You got a lower waist swivel, upper chest swivel, so you can twist them, get them in some cool flying poses. Um, has a slight crunch. It's not too much, but it's there. Uh, still, you know, not not too much of a punch. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. But, I mean, this Superman isn't really known to be getting in all kinds of acrobatic poses. So, I mean, I don't really know why you would need him to bend forward any more than that. You know, you have a slight crunch there. And, of course, he could lean back. Per usual with McFarlane figures. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shoulders. He does have that socket and bushing shoulder joint which gives you a lot of movement and range you do have up and down front to back bicep swivel nice double jointed elbows that actually look really contoured and cut perfectly strain out the arm now look at that shoulder pauldron nice metallic sheen a little bit of grimy gold underneath there to give it some accent and then beautiful texture on the arms down towards the gloves you do have a very nice like gauntlet piece on his forearm and it kind of matches up with the 
sculpted out hands that have a little piece on there as well. Beautiful. Now you do have an open hand here on the left side. You still have the articulation of four ways that that ball joint gives you from a fallen, even though it is sculpted out beautifully. And on the other side, you have the same thing, but you go into a fist. Now these are actually the smoothest <laughs> transitioning hands I have seen. Really easy to pop in and out. McFarlane is really hitting his stride when it comes to doing these hands. The proportions are perfect. Like I said, exchanging them in and out is awesome. Man, this is, you know, a beautiful figure, especially with two fists. <laughs> I really like the way that looks. Awesome, awesome figure. Now, the pauldrons do move to be able to get them into an awesome T-pose. Looks really good. Can move the arms above the head for flying poses and more range. This is a beautifully designed figure. Can't say that enough. Now let's go ahead and move down to the thighs. I just love the way these trunks are cut. There is no gap there at all. It is seamless. Awesome job. Let's take a look at the thigh swivel. Um, pretty minimal. I'm sure if you were to heat this up, you could probably free it up a little bit. But as you can see, you can still move the boot from side to side without having a thigh cut. Can kick up really high and then can kick back really far as well. Now, do not be afraid. That is why the trunks are made of rubber so that so you can get just a little bit more kick out of the figure. But the trunks do bend out of the way. And when you go back, they actually go back to their original form. Tuck out the leg. Has that sweet McFarlane hip rotation. Double jointed knees. Really nice. Straighten them out, up and down at the ankle, right to left, rocker, and of course, toe articulation. Now, before we go, let's take a complete look at the lower body. And <clears throat> once again, McFarlane killing it in the costume design. Look at all of the cool grain and design in the suit. And then where it's supposed to be sort of like armored up, it has that shiny metallic blue. Almost like a like an oyster blue, like pearl blue, just beautiful. And the boots as well. Now the boots are, are actually, it looks like they're molded in like a red metallic plastic, which is rather interesting, but they do have a cool design. Awesome, awesome lower body. Take a look at them from the bottom. No tread and no identifying marks. Moving up the back, I love the sculpt work, the way it is here on the back of the boots. Sort of a swirl, kind of like spiral design going up. More cool sculpt work in the back of the costume, the trunks, and then the back. Be nice. You do have the cape that's like unique to this figure. Pretty light, does not affect when you try and stand him, and also has a nice flow to it. For getting them into at least a limited amount of dynamic poses. Going to the back. Love the way that headpiece wraps around the back. Just beautiful. And even the armored neck with that metallic blue peeking out looks really good. Man, beautiful figure. Awesome figure. I would say do not sleep on this. In fact, I pretty much am <laughs> almost positive I'm going to buy one more just to do this, the repaint of the eyes to give them a little bit more attitude. So that is something that I want to do just, <laughs> you know, to satisfy my own madness. Now for comparisons, I do want to bring out the old school die cast metal Injustice 2 Superman with nine points of articulation. Pretty much a statue. He is rather heavy though, which is really nice. And the face sculpt, there's just no comparison. You're basically looking like at a Fisher Price face sculpt with no sort of detail, no sort of like life. It just looks, you know, bland and um, just plasticky, which is really weird. But you do get the feel of the design of what this figure is supposed to represent in this old Mattel version. But I do like him nonetheless. That's why I do have him in the collection then i want to bring out 
the Injustice Batman, just to take a look at them next to each other. Now, this is really awesome. This Superman is actually a lot taller than this Batman. Not too much, but you can tell he's like armored up. So, uh, you know, he is supposed to be one inch taller than Batman. But this is a lot better scale than the previous Supermans. And that's another thing we need to bring up is that this is a completely <laughs> new sculpt and design for a Superman figure. And it's been a while that we actually got something like that. And let's go ahead and bring out Supergirl, put her right in the middle. And this actually looks really good. This little trifecta together looks awesome. Really happy with this Superman figure. And our Injustice, Injustice 2 uh, lineup is getting a lot bigger. Now I do want to show something and that is I have this Batman from the Three Jokers. And we all know that he is like one of the taller figures in the McFarlane line. Um, I just want to show him next to the Superman so you get sort of a scale. Now, for this guy being one of the taller Batmans, this Superman really holds his own standing next to him. And that is awesome. That is something that I like is having tall Superman <laughs> and tall Batman together. But we do have a array of different sizes we could choose from. And of course, that gives you a lot more options for your playability and posing. But anyways, really happy with this guy. He's going to look awesome up there on the shelf. I do think this guy would really work a lot more, like showcased with like some lighting. I just, I'm not sure. Give him the side eye, put some lights on him, and I think he'll look really menacing. And he can be a gem of your DC Multiverse collection. But you guys, keep hunting out there. Keep collecting. Keep customizing. And I will see you on the next one. Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman.